Welcome back once more to Let's Play Banished. In the last episode, we uh, laid the foundation for the uh, blacksmith, or for the, for the blacksmithy, because we ran out of tools. And what we might need to do now is actually increase the amount of, uh, or the priority of this. Because we do need our iron. We also need some wood, so that's fine. I might also have to worry about getting uh, proper, uh, getting more iron from here, or maybe even here. <coughs> but right now, let's only uh, take as much as we need to to get this sorted. Hurry up, guys! We're also running a bit low on uh, food. So what I might do is, yeah, I know I'm low on that. What I might do here is I might actually uh, tell some people to stop working at their current professions, like the woodcutter here. Might do well as a hunter. The reason I'm uh, putting him in as a hunter as opposed to a uh, fisherman is that I will also gain leather from that which can be used to make some fancy coats once we uh, have more people available. I might also reduce that to one builder, although this is kinda iffy. I do want this building to be done as quick as possible, although it's probably currently more a matter of the... Uh okay, let me just uh, close that. I had a pop-up telling me that there were updates available. I shall in, uh, install them later, but right now I'm let's playing, so screw that. Okay, so right now this is more task for the uh, laborers than for my builder. And one builder could do enough here. So that's fine. Okay, let's see if that sorted out anything. The problem with uh, Hunter is he needs to have deer in his uh, area of effect, which luckily he has, right over here. Also, you may notice that I uh, turned down the uh, sound a bit. So I hope this will uh, sort a few things out for you guys. I mean, the, the, the sound isn't very loud, so my voice should still be, or my commentary should still be uh, audible quite well, but I figured it could be good to uh, slightly reduce the volume of the in-game sound, just to make it easier. Did I, didn't I just put the priority of this higher? Why are you still carrying around things from there? Just stop it. Okay, now they're... Why are you doing that? You please work here. Uh, by the way, I'm not going to uh, reduce the... Uh, speed of the simulation here. I might actually increase it, Oops, damn it, simply because uh, I can. And because things are progressing quite slowly right now. Are you the builder? Yes, okay. Also, uh, our clothing has uh, deteriorated, so we're all running around in rags right now. Which is not the best state to be in, but it's better than not having anything to eat. By the way, I checked it and it seems that students will remain uh, in school until they're 18, at least the... Uh, actually, I uh, played a bit on my other computer and it seems that a student left at 18 there. But we shall still observe it once we have uh, somebody leaving school here. But now we're gaining food. Let's see if the hunter has produced anything. You have. 200 venison. This might also help the uh, overall health of our citizens, because that means they will... Uh Do you have a tool? Yeah, okay. Uh, because it means they will have more variety, they will gain uh, proteins, which is uh, something you don't quite gain from uh, plants, if memory serves. Although there are some that produce uh, proteins. What kind of bothers me is that those numbers are very, very, very uh, 
abstract. It's not like I, I know that those are 189 meals of berries. But that's just a, a random amount and it's not necessarily correlated to how long those will last. So as long as you have a, a number below like uh, 200 here, you know you're very sh short on food and it, that's uh, one of the only issues I have with Banished. It says you really can't tell how long things will last you. Except maybe by experience. Okay, do we still don't have any iron. Why are you going there? You're supposed to pick up iron from here. Ugh. Actually, stop removing that. Okay, stop all that. I need you to uh, gather some iron from here. Also, the builder should uh, should really not be. Uh Where is? Oh, right. Uh, don't do that. Oops, no, don't do that. But pause this. Can I pause this somehow? Oh, there it is. I wish to pause that. So this will be built instead. We need the uh, blacksmith to be built. At least I think we need it uh, more direly than in Town Hall, although that is an awesome building. We're also still gaining food. This might be uh, a trend that inverts itself once we uh, get more people. Because right now we still have uh, people being born. Which means they Im uh, eventually will start eating more. And I think this one schoolhouse will last us quite a while. It's uh, It takes a while until you actually have 20 uh, students at the same time. Or until you even have more than that. And... Uh, it's usually not, uh, even if you have many children coming in, since they are all kind of a bit uh, apart from the time of birth, they uh, usually will not end up clogging your schoolhouse all at the same time. So by the time some of them are in a uh, schoolable age, they will also be uh, slow through it again. Oh my, we're really low on that! So by the time they're in a uh, school-worthy, uh, educatable age, you will generally just have them... Uh, you will have others who have already left school, so... Those 20 uh, students here are quite a generous amount. Well, this, this capacity is quite generous for a very long time. I think in my most successful game I built a new schoolhouse after like... Uh, 20 to 30 years because that was the first time the school was actually uh, getting full I can't have more teachers in here so uh, there's no point in oh, that won't serve anything you only need one teacher for all the children in your town at least until the uh, class limit is exceeded okay let's see is that being built now yeah it is It's also kind of nice to be able to reduce the amount of workers you can employ in one place. So if you have several, you can <coughs> you can split them uh, evenly or do that. Because I think they will uh, try to. I'm actually not sure how they uh, fill buildings. Like if you have two of the same, uh, how they will uh, fill those up. Like if I had two forest trees and like four foresters, I don't. I'm not sure if they would all go uh, into the same one, or if they would try to uh, uh, if they try to occupy them equally. So if they distribute two on each, or if they just go with wherever they live, I'm not sure. But I can kind of force it how I want them to go. And that's always nice. 
Time and some control is uh, generally helpful. Also, you should pick up those iron blocks. For sake, I excuse. Uh, I'm sorry about the language here. Also, why is my worker not doing anything? He's picking up resources. You should pick them up here. Just go here, turn around, bring them here. Oh. And they're really not happy with the uh, direction our uh, food supplies are currently heading, so uh, I might actually... No, I might not take the herbalist off service. That's uh, he He's also a makeshift doctor, so uh, it's not just having those herbs, it's also about having the uh, herbalist doing stuff. I obviously can't take my gatherers off duty because they are securing the bulk of our food. What are you producing? I'm not happy with how the uh, hunting cabin produces food because it takes ages for them to hunt something. And sometimes they even seem to not bother even though there are deer right next to them. Where are my hunters? You are working and you are working, okay. I don't know, it just seems very very slow. Also obviously the uh, Hunting cabin will have a, uh, a great great variety of uh, in production because sometimes they have deer, sometimes <coughs> they simply don't have any deer nearby. Let's go to four hunters. And of course they can't hunt if there is nothing to hunt. Okay, will those stones be uh, used up soon? Crying out loud, please start getting that iron. I think the lack of uh, actual tools is also hurting the productivity quite severely, which further contributes to our little problem with food. Also, I might have to actually put in a woodcutter again, just to fill those uh, fuel stores up again. Now, this is the pretty much the problem of the early game stage. You have a lot of things that need to be done, but you don't have enough people to actually do them, and you have to uh, shift around and see who can get what done, who can, you, who you can put where, uh, so things get handled, so you can still expand, you can build, you can uh, supply everybody with uh, a meal and maybe a warm home. And that's just very well done. It contributes to that sense of, uh, okay, we are short on pretty much everything. And the problem is right now I have too little uh, food to actually uh, support a group of nomads. Although, of course, I won't get any of those until I uh, have a bigger town hall. But I would be looking forward to nomads anyway. Because they will also be... Uh, very useful to fill all those uh, labor spots. They will help us gather resources, they will help us fill those positions we have. I mean, you, you see we have zero fishermen. We have... Uh, okay, we have one woodcutter, which will also be sufficient for a very long time. We'll need a blacksmith soon. And we're gathering iron now. So why aren't you guys doing what I want you to and supply that building. Okay, I think they are now. I think they are now. Just hurry up, man. Evo Nita. Already 42. I'm not happy with that either because we might also lose people soon. Due to old age. I mean, we could lose them anyway. Well, there are working accidents and they uh, they kind of... Uh, I think they are more frequent when you have uneducated workers, which is another reason to uh, educate your people as soon as possible. But there are always working accidents, especially, especially in buildings like the, the quarry and the mines. Uh, those are very, very prone to accidents. Um, of course, the, uh, the cleric is unlikely to have that. Uh, hunters are somewhat prone, gatherers as well. Um, I don't know who else. Yeah, I think 
everybody is, is kind of prone to that. It could happen to anyone. And it really sucks if it happens early on, because then you lose a worker you might have really planned with and y you really need. You're supposed to build, damn it. Also, sorry about that. Just build this stupid blacksmith uh, place. Okay, we need a bit more iron. Once we have that, I will increase the priority of any work being done here. Alright, that might have might actually be my fault, because I set this uh, gathering priority here. Uh, once we have the 32 iron we need, I will put this to the top of the queue and hopefully sort things out here. We're out of food now. I hope this won't last very long. Let's check how the hunters are doing. Reasonably well, or reasonably poor. Hard to tell, really. Uh, I should have probably, not that, that, I should have probably put this to uh, into a more suitable area, like a bigger bit of forest, because we are losing a, quite a lot of space here. This is a huge loss in efficiency, because this is place that could be forest and maybe should be forest. Anyway, I'm going to sign off this episode here, and I'll see you all next time. Bye!